and meteorologist Matt Lobhan alongside Joel Young and uh, the entire WTVA news team as we continue to track a rotating thunderstorm, a supercell thunderstorm rotation is spiked back up. We said we'd be back on if that happened. It has happened in the last few minutes here as we uh, look for Lowndes County approaching Columbus. We go to the wind mode. It tells the tale much, much better than the precipitation mode on any of these thunderstorms right now. And that, that become pretty obvious where we're looking, that little bright area there. Now, the rotation down just a little bit over the last uh, couple of minutes here, uh, pretty much right along 45, U.S. 45. Uh, well, and see, as soon as it moved there, it, up, it just updated, and thankfully it's broadened a little bit. We're now at 74 miles per hour. You go back two scans, though, and it was at... You know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 125 miles per hour. So that's good. It's kind of come down just a little bit. Um, this uh, rotation, when we look at the debris mode on Storm Track Doppler, let's look at the same spot. Let's see, we have it. We don't. Okay. Good in that regard there. And then as we go look at the uh, precipitation mode, let's uh, look at the same spot there, see, see how that is lining up. Uh, and certainly a uh, rotation there. We're talking between Old Macon Road and US 45. That is where our rotation is on this thunderstorm. Columbus proper there. And this is going to be a close call for the south side of Columbus, which is why we're bringing you this update here on ABC, WTVA, MeTV, and this TV. Um, we are going to rejoin uh, folks on NBC here in a moment. We're still streaming live at WTVA.com and uh, on Facebook at this moment. Um, the tornado warning in effect until 8.30 for this thunderstorm. Let's track that rotation that we were looking at. We're not going to get really a whole lot of spots in this because uh, pretty much New Hope is the, the most in the path of this rotation, this potential tornado. Um, we're looking at New Hope in about 15 minutes, assuming it's still going about that 40 miles per hour, um, a rotation that could potentially be a tornado, but it's not quite as impressive as it was just a couple minutes ago, thankfully. Um, wind mode, and let's go street by street on where we're looking at this. So this is obviously US 45 there. Not 45 alternate, 45. Okay, so this, we're looking uh, near Glen Wilburn Road there. Just south of, I believe that is Lime Rock Drive. This is where our rotation is. This is where it could potentially be a tornado. The last couple scans get the angle right on this. And see, I gave you the wrong angle there a second ago. Let's amend that. And folks in the control room, let me know when we're about to hit the TVA break. We'll hit the break, we'll come in, we'll go out. Thank you. Count me down to that and we'll. And we'll do a, a relaunch for that. You might relaunch the open, too, if you want to. That's up to you. Now, nah, we, we won't relaunch the open. We'll just pause and start. Um, OK, so tracking northeast Columbus, we're looking at 12 minutes away, this rotation that really actually has taken just a little bit um, more, um, more impressive. Uh, we need to go over TVA as well now. Let's go now, if you can, whenever you're ready. Punch, punch us up over there, too. No, let's just go. Uh, meteorologist Matt Lopon alongside uh, meteorologist Joel Young. We're doing our best to stay out of your programming as possible this evening, but we do have now reports again of a confirmed tornado on this Lowndes County thunderstorm. We're doing a little bit of extended coverage on ABC WTVA as well as WTVA.com right now. We're going to try to get in and out during your commercial break here on WTVA. Um, we're also on MeTV and this TV at this moment as well. Moving northeast, this speed on a storm, on a rotation that could potentially be a tornado. We'd be talking about 11 minutes to Columbus, and it has taken a a little bit more of a northerly track, just the last couple of scans on radar here. And the, our discussion with the Weather Service, they're going with the word observed to describe this um, because of reports of tornado damage on Doppler radar on this thunderstorm here. So we need to, in New Hope, we need to, in Columbus, be in our tornado safe place. Let's take a second. Let's make sure we know where that is. That is the lowest floor of a sturdy structure in the middle of your building. If it's a mobile home, we're not good enough. Turn up the volume on your TV, wrap up some blankets and pillows, and stay there until we can give you the all clear. An all clear that we will do for sure online. We might not get to any all clears during this quick cut in on NBC WTVA. Um, the track of this, as we mentioned, is toward the northeast. The speed of that storm, about 40 miles per hour. And they use the word observed because they say they detect, um, we're going with the Weather Service Jackson here, tornado debris observed on this thunderstorm. That's what that is right there just south of Columbus, um, just the last scan that showed up. Let's double check where it's at in the precip mode, right there where my finger is. 
yeah, I got to go with it. That's an observed tornado. That is tornado debris. That is south of uh, Columbus right now, detected on storm track Doppler radar. This is going to be a close call for Columbus proper and for New Hope um, as this moves toward the north and east. Let's uh, keep that 40 mile per hour. Let's get a few folks, if, just in case it goes a little bit more east, Whiteberry, New Hope, and McRae. All within the past, within the next 15 minutes, tornado debris detected on this thunderstorm as it approaches Columbus. Now, I'm going to include Columbus in this track, and you might ask, why am I doing two tracks? Because I want to get some times for, for both sets of folks, if we can, just to make sure that, that you have to be, even though you're not technically in the tornado warning in Columbus, that is going to probably be extended here pretty soon for you unless something changes drastically. Eight minutes to downtown Columbus, this storm with rotation and confirmed tornado damage. That's what this, if you go on the, the damage mode, that's likely what this is. Damage that's been lofted up in the thunderstorm near Lime Rock Drive, south of Columbus. Tornado debris detected on storm track Doppler radar. Lime Rock Road right there also where we show that wind, uh, that, that pixel to pixel change right there. And that's heading more in a northerly direction. So let's come in street level and let's go really, really close in this. This is our only tornado one thunderstorm at the moment, so we thankfully have the time to spend to kind of come in here a little closer. Um, and thankfully the last second there, that's widened just a little bit. So sometimes these storms touch down briefly, lift right back. We'll be talking right, let's mention Lime Rock Drive there near Old Macon Road, south on the southwest uh, side of Columbus here where our rotation is, could potentially be a tornado still. It has produced damage within the last couple of minutes. Um, and our meteorologist, Joel Young. Joel, I'm going to bring you over here for a second to, to help me a minute here. They are going to uh, warn for a tornado warning downstream on this. That should be coming out here All right. in just a moment. Um, if you could uh, pull that up in the chat, we'll give, we'll give the folks um, and you can do that over there too if you want to. We'll give the folks the latest you want information. You come on over that. there. Yeah. Okay. Switch me out for just a second here. Right. Tornado, so tornado warning till 9 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a new tornado warning that's in, to, in effect until 9 p.m. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is for eastern Lowndes County. This includes the city of Columbus. Uh, that includes Columbus proper, New Hope, Steens, even Caledonia uh, in northeastern Lowndes County. So we're tracking that uh, rotation right now that is uh, moving to the northeast. I believe it's 40 miles per hour. So let's put a track on this real quickly. Uh, right now, again, uh, 40 miles per hour, and uh, this is a new warning that's out. So if you've heard the tornado sirens going off in Columbus and Saints, you're probably going to be dealing, uh, hearing that for a little while. But uh, let's pull up the velocity and just get an idea as to exactly where the rotation is. And I'll let Matt back in here whenever he steps in. There but, might be two. Um, Am I wrong there to say there uh, might be two rotations on there? That's not out of the question. Because I feel like, I feel like, um, stick, stick with me here so for a second. So right. So let's, I, I feel like there's one right there where you've got it and one that's a Just little. Just right not there. Not as pronounced there, but it looks like you have two so you have, of circulation. So that, and that'll be moving northeast at about 40 miles per hour. We're talking Whiteberry. There's New Hope in the same vicinity. There's New Hope right there. Uh, so that would be, and is it moving northeast or is it moving north or I, east I northeast? Say, I would say it's moving northeast. If you so the pretty much straight northeast. So that's going to be, this is the same area that was hit by the tornado, Matt, that mm -hmm. uh, hit, I believe year. it was, was it in March? It was like the first of March -ish? It was, I, I think it was March 31st. Okay, it was the end of March. I knew yeah. it was close to the end of the month or so beginning this is, of the this month. this is very so. close. And yeah, what we have done, we've spun off two circulations, haven't we there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate, I appreciate yep. that, Joel, for getting me through there. Um, so that's the reason we have resumed some coverage here is because uh, this is now a confirmed tornado in the last few minutes here. Let's go back to the debris mode. Let's see if we can still confirm that. The northern of those two, while we might have two circulations, this patch here, Lime Rock Drive, this is tornado debris approaching Columbus. We're going to get a new update within the next couple of moments here. They have it now like moving at 45 miles per hour. 45, so they've picked up speed on this. So Columbus, our moments are ticking away. We have to be in our tornado safe place if we live in Columbus, because that's what this says. This doesn't appear if it hasn't hit something and lofted that debris into the air. So we're looking at a tornado that has touched down south of Columbus. That tornado not as evident on the precipitation mode, on the wind mode, confirming that tornado still at this moment. And let's go up a few, a few scans and let's see if, uh, if we can get a more accurate position of it. I feel like the radar hasn't updated in the last couple minutes here. No, yeah, that is absolutely right. So right now, okay, 
So going up a couple scans on this, I would put our rotation pretty much on the southeast side. And it's not going to look like much on here, but I would put it probably right here, just south of 15th Street, perhaps just a little east of Elmore Street. These thunderstorms kind of slant a little bit, so from this direction aloft. So I might be just a little bit ahead on that position, but it's probably very near Highway 69 between uh, Whiteberry and Columbus. Um, watching that very, very closely. Um, as this thunderstorm, thankfully, uh, is uh, the tornado debris signature continues to broaden a little bit on it. God, it's still there, though. I mean, that's, that's still what's th what this is on the backside here. That's tornado debris aloft. That doesn't necessarily, and this is the one unfortunate thing about this tornado debris setting, is it doesn't always say this is exactly where the tornado is. The debris could get lofted to this part of the thunderstorm, and the tornado continues this direction. So we have to be in a tornado safe place if we live in Columbus. Weather Service is now noticing that secondary circulation. Joel and I were just looking at a minute ago the fact that we have two circulations near the surface, and that has spun up. So south of Columbus, we have now two. What is it with Lowndes County and multiple circulations? I feel like in March we had that as well on this in eastern Lowndes County, unfortunately. So now we have a Whiteberry community approaching you and one just south of Columbus. This is where the tornado debris is lofted aloft that we showed you a minute ago. That's where the tornado debris is trying to drift into Columbus. Now, it might be dust, as we say often. It might be tree limbs. It might be something else. But this is where the new tornado will develop when it develops in all likelihood is on the southern part of this. So we have two areas of circulation, two potential tornadoes at this moment. The speed upgraded to 45 miles per hour by the folks in the Weather Service and uh, Jackson there. The southern of these rotations, Whiteberry Community now. New Hope less than five. McCrary less than ten. Forest well, about 10 minutes for you as that crosses over into Pickens County, Alabama. The northern of those circulations it's basically in Columbus right now. It says two minutes, that's the middle part of the town. It's in the southern city grid of Columbus. We have to be in our tornado safe place if we live in Columbus. This latest update a moment ago, uh, still continuing to show very obviously the, the impressive rotation on the southern part of this, um, pretty much right along. That'd be uh, Frisco Road approaching that and Highway 69 within the next two minutes. Tornado that this thunderstorm produced a tornado within the last 10 minutes. So it's conceivable that this could spin back up one. This northern rotation up here on the southern grid, the city grid of the city of Columbus, this is still where we probably have a little tornado debris lofted above this thunderstorm at this moment. All of this whiz-bang stuff, as a meteorologist I used to work under called it, is just basically to give you evidence to make the decision that you probably already should have made, and that is to be in your tornado safe place. If you live in Columbus, you've got to be there. South of 82, between that and College Street, about where I would have that rotation right now in the city grid of Columbus from the one that produced tornado damage less than 10 minutes ago, and that's what this damage is lofted in the thunderstorm, illustrated by StormTrack Doppler radar there. Look in the precipitation mode on StormTrack Doppler radar, latest scan, and yeah, it's now the southern part here. This is where we've redeveloped. Not a classic looking supercell, but certainly rotation that is increasing. You can see the mid-level rotation there. That's what that big arrow is. But this is right there, approaching Whiteberry, right along 69 at this moment. Uh, approaching 69 is where this rotation is at this second. Let's go up a couple of scans. Uh, New Hope, this is heading toward you. Hopefully we know what to do. And what that is, is we need to be in our tornado safe place. If we live in Whiteberry, if we live in New Hope. Find a sturdy structure on the lowest floor. Find a room in the middle, turn up the volume on the TV, wrap up in blankets, pillows, and stay there until we can give you the all clear. We can do some all clears here in just a second, but first, Joel, you might have to tell the newsroom because they won't hear me with my voice. Um, we need to double check with the Lowndes County Emergency Manager, see if we can get Cindy on the phone. She's done some um, phoners for us before. We'll try to get her back on the phone to see, see our damage situation as it stands now. Um, but we have to be in that tornado safe place. We have, within the last 10 minutes, confirmed debris. We haven't spotted it. It's night. We're not going to spot it. And if we have rotation that could develop into a tornado very soon. So we don't usually have these things where it could develop and debris at the same time, but we do. Dying circulation, moving to the southern part of uh, the city of Columbus, um, definitely shows uh, rotation and the possibility of a tornado. And then the southern circulation is the stronger at this moment. Now, 
coming in with us in just the last couple of moments with our discussion with the Weather Service. We have a spotter. Uh, they have a spotter in the Columbus that can confirm the tornado touchdown at this moment near Columbus. I'm going to assume that if they're seeing it at this moment, it's probably this southern one. This is where we would expect it because this is the part of the thunderstorm that has increased in intensity very rapidly. So tornado, according to visual confirmation, near the Whiteberry community, approaching 69. And though the pixel-to-pixel -pixel wind change on this is 60 miles per hour, I'm going to bet that the next scan to come around, let's go up a couple. Let's see if we can get the latest update on that. Uh, I put it pretty close to New Hope at this point. Just northeast of 69 is where we put our latest location on this rotation, on this thunderstorm that now, within the last couple of minutes, um, has confirmation of a tornado touchdown. The precipitation mode... <sighs> Definitely new hope, that part there, though I, I could still make an argument that there may be something going on up here. It's a weird shape on this thunderstorm. Let's go to the wind mode, see if that makes it a little more obvious on the lowest scans. Now we have an update, and that's that same spot we were looking at just a moment ago. And by the way, they have extended a tornado warning for Pickens and Lamar counties because of this. But now we're looking south of 182, only 51 miles per hour, pixel to pixel wind change. But this is now our new location of this tornado. Uh, believed to be in progress, according to a spotter report, within the last two minutes. So we're looking right near York, Yorkville Road uh, East. Of course, this is probably still Columbus addresses for a lot of folks in this area here. York, Yorkville Road East, south of US 182, what we believe to be a tornado in progress. It's going to clip locations on the north side of New Hope. Um, our discussion with the Weather Service, they're kind of in agreement with us that the damage we saw a couple scans ago isn't there on this part of the thunderstorm. But, um, like we said, it's not a predictive element. That's a confirmation element as to what's going on, unfortunately. So we can, at this second, according to our discussion with the Weather Service, uh, continue to confirm tornado um, in progress on this thunderstorm within the last couple minutes near York Road. So now let's track this using that new location toward the north end east. Speed about 45 miles per hour. McCray, McCrary, excuse me, forest, both within the next 10 minutes. Um, train spotter reporting a tornado. Now this was as of 8:28 p.m. In Lowndes County, and this was probably the report we had a minute ago, three southeast of Columbus. Let's get that storm report on the screen here. And there it is. So that's the one we were tracking just a moment ago. That is that rotation. That is, in all likelihood, yeah. But that's that rotation right there. So we're looking right at it. We don't usually get confirmation that close at hand. So now southeast part of Columbus, north of New Hope, tornado confirmed within the last five minutes on the ground and we've it does yeah just north of it there mm -hmm. yeah and that's and that's kind of the worry that we're far enough away from the radar site that that you're absolutely right there let's look at that now you are dead on Joel two circulations the northern one looks to be the one that they had the conf confirmation on thank you Joel um, so we have two circulations here one it's probably New Hope addresses there, and one that's just south of 182. So the northern of these, just south of 182, confirmed tornado within the last four minutes. This one, just northwest of New Hope, within the city grid there, going to cross over New Hope Road within the next three minutes. This, at the very least, developing tornado. It's the more classic location on radar where we'd expect to see a tornado out of a thunderstorm like this. Let's check the wind speed, what we call the pixel-to-pixel -pixel wind change or the gate-to-gate -gate velocity on this. The southern one there, 85 miles per hour, could be developing. We had two tornadoes on this a minute ago, so it's reasonable we could, again, be working our way toward that once again, unfortunately. Um, and you know... So, go, yeah, go ahead, Joel. Uh, you know, just also to uh, look ahead of this same storm, if you had plans to head out east of Columbus or maybe if you're heading into Columbus from, say, around Ethelsville or, uh, is that, uh, Reform, mm -hmm. I would say hold off. That tornado, if there's a tornado still on the ground with that and it stays on the ground, it's probably going to cross uh, Highway 82, 
just inside Mississippi, right, uh, I would say west of the um, Alabama-Mississippi state line, and probably clip that northwest corner of Pickens County. But again, uh, that's looking ahead, but you need to plan ahead and just think if you got yeah, plans just to go that way, don't, don't do Don't try right to now. drive in this. Don't try to outrun tornadoes. They don't have to follow um, roadways. They can you know, go where they want to. And this one going 45 miles per hour, that's a mile every minute and a half or so. Yeah. Um, so that good advice there from Joel um, about crossing 82. You might alert some folks that are on the road. There are a lot of thunderstorms out there tonight, but if they're coming up from Tuscaloosa, heading toward Columbus, they need to stop. They need to head back to Coal Fire, maybe Ethelsville, um, maybe stay in reform for about another 20, 30 minutes so that we can get this out of the way. But at this moment, we still believe uh, near uh, New Hope that we have one to possibly two tornadoes in progress at this moment. Uh, tornado warning in effect for Lowndes County until 9 p.m. Uh, meteorologist Matt LaPon alongside meteorologist Joel Young um, from WTVA Weather Authority, the folks behind the scenes here working to continue to gather information um, about this tornado touchdown that's still occurring at this moment. Um, the northern of these, now latest scan, just north of Yorkville Road, just southeast of Highway uh, 182. If you live in Columbus proper, inside the primary city grid, give me five more minutes. Don't be traveling on 182 toward the west. Don't be traveling on 82, excuse me, toward the east. Don't be traveling on 82 toward the east as well. This is still believed to be possibly causing damage at this moment. It certainly has recently. Um, no damage showing up on StormTrack Doppler radar at this instant. New scan coming around and Let's go back to the precip mode here. Okay, so now, do we have, do we have a cell split? It looks like we have a cell split here. Ooh. Um, so we're right along 182. That's where our rotation is. We'll come back to Steens in just a second. Let's go. The one that we can confirm is on the is the southern one here along 182. That might explain how we how we're getting rotation in a couple of spots are, aren't quite as classic. But I would have my two well, tor potential tornadoes right there if, we're still ha if we still have two. Let's go to the wind mode. And Joel, go ahead. Uh, well, you were talking about the cell split, and I'm trying to also look. Um, is that maybe, when you say the second area of rotation, there's one right, it looks like it may be crossing over Highway 82 now. Is that right? Uh, Near Forest, there's there's west one that, yeah, it might be. Um, what about that second one? Is that a around Steens? I would put it around Steens, yeah, yes. That's what I was just thinking. So that, that's a little bit farther northward, uh, south of Woodlawn, um, but there may be some areas up in that direction that may have Caledonia addresses, may refer to themselves as Caledonia, but Caledonia itself, the city itself, not in the warning area. Okay. So, so there will be some Caledonia addresses. That's a really good catch there, Joel, um, that will be under this tornado warning as opposed to necessarily, you know, they, they don't technically fall under it in the city of Caledonia. Appreciate that, Joel. Position now as we see it at this moment, just east, um, just about ready to cross over uh, US 82. So, I mean, seriously, if you're coming out of Columbus, don't go this way. You know somebody that's traveling toward Tuscaloosa, tell them not to go right now. Let's wait a few minutes. Let's get this out of the way. I'd like to wait more than a few minutes, but that would probably be enough. Um, now, latest scan, we are right over top of um, a U.S. 82 maybe just slightly, just, you know, a quarter mile northeast of U.S. 82 at this moment. Um, a tornado that was on the ground within the last 10 minutes. Uh, tracking that northeast. No locations coming up in that. So let's go street by street on this for a moment here. And so we are talking, and they just went homes in Yazoo County. Tornado warning on that uh, way back west. I was west. watching that earlier. Go ahead, and, go ahead and look at that so you can give me an update. All right, in a minute. I'm so, going and, and to. And just, just go ahead and pull that up, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, Tabernacle Road, where we would see this just north of 82, um, going to cross Pleasant Hill Road within the next uh, 45 seconds to a minute or so before this uh, heads into Pickens County, Alabama. Uh, tornado confirmed in the last 10 minutes. Um, and then up towards Steens, doesn't look like much, but this was previously one of them that produced that flare up of a little bit of debris south of Columbus. It likely looks as though it's split. Um, 
Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just back and forth with what we're reading from the Weather Service. Make sure we're all still on the same page on this. Let's track this one nonetheless. It's pretty much right over top of Steens. Um, just a little northeast by maybe a mile at most. Um, unfortunately, no locations coming up in the track. Or actually, fortunately, no locations coming up in the track. I wish we could give a couple other specific spots. It's going to track pretty near Steens Vernon Road. Pretty much right along the roadway there. So if you know some folks traveling that direction, hopefully no one's traveling. We've had enough rain. Those roads are going to have some issues as it is. Um, so let's, uh, let's be very cautious on the northern part of this as well from that little split that we had a minute ago. Um, wind mode, storm track Doppler radar. And where we're at with this, we're just north now. At least one circulation there near Tabernacle Road. And there's that one near Steens we were tracking. So still two circulations showing up on this thunderstorm as they continue to organize. Okay. Now, do you have GR on? Um, I do. Let me. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull you up. It's up. So I, I'm pulling you up. So we're looking out here toward Holmes County. New tornado warning issued that direction. Now this is the you know originally I was talking about a storm that was in Holmes County and that was going to maybe move into. Is that the north one there? That's the north one. It didn't turn right like we talked about. Good. But this one to the southwest of it and right now still outside of our viewing areas down into Yazoo County between Yazoo City and Lexington. That one, if it turns right, will light and it appears that that track. If you look at the warning, the way it's shaped, they have a more. Yeah. May take it into uh, western sections of Itala County. This warning goes. Uh, let me pull up the box here. This goes until 9:30. 9:30. So, yeah. uh, and uh, as you can see, you can uh, see there on the uh, screen it says uh, it's capable of producing a tornado. It was near Midway or eight miles east of Yazoo City, moving northeast at 45. So we're going to watch okay. that closely over the next few minutes. Thank you, Joel. I appreciate that. Uh, so let's reset where we're at right now. Everybody's still under tornado watches, I believe. Let's, um, let's make sure none of these back to the north and west have gotten more organized. And I apologize that we're doing some extended coverage here um, over top of some of your programming. I know a lot of folks want to see that. This is Up's show on NBC. We're trying here. I'm, trying. I'm, I'm hoping this thing weakens just as much as, as you are so we can kick you back. Um, uh, Eupora, not as impressive. That one, the Joel's watching back there, uh, definitely the most impressive uh, of all these back to the west. Um, so as we come back to Lowndes County, Pickens County, Lamar County, um, the latest on this uh, tornado warning weather service continues this uh, saying uh, radar indicated. Um, that means they backed off the phrase confirmed because we have now not for the last 12 minutes or so had a confirmed tornado on the ground with this uh, from storm spotters. Uh, cannot confirm at this moment with tornado debris, thankfully. Let's check the exact location on this as it crosses over the Alabama state line. And Does I would place it right into, Le uh, at the, if you go up a few scans here, I would place it just inside. The, uh, right on the intersection of Lowndes, uh, Lamar, Pickens County, right on that county intersection there is where I would place that uh, tornado at this moment. Um, what do you, do the you still isn't as think... Impressive. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 go uh, for it. Do you think we still have two areas of rotation, or do you think that one on the south end, I think the one on the south end definitely seems to be dominant. It's, it's dominant. I don't, there's still the shape on the north end. Is that shape enough to produce right. a tornado? I'm not sure about and that. And that's probably why they widened out that warning over. Yeah, they're just, they're, they're trying to catch them both. I honestly think now looking at it, I feel like it's unwrapped a little bit and this is straight line winds as it moves into um, Lamar yeah, and Pickens County. That. Let's get a storm track for you. Jackson's allowed Allowance County to expire. Let's get a storm track for you, and because this is unwound, we'll send you back to programming. We'll stay on live on the live stream, um, and we'll come back on as necessary so we can... Unfortunately, we knocked out a good chunk of your show, and I apologize for that. It's never... I, nobody hates it more than I do, trust me. So, Millport, we're watching for you as this continues to move toward the east, 40, 45 miles per hour. Uh, 8.55 for you in Millport, Kennedy, 9.02, Belk at 9.05. Uh, we'll continue to monitor this. If, if we at all feel that this is going to spike back up and try to produce a tornado, uh, then certainly we're going to uh, be right back on talking about this. I will say the suspicious structure here, which looks to be a lot like a cell split of some sort here, we might have a couple areas where we have rotation out here into Lamar County. Nothing's organized enough to be a tornado at this second. That doesn't mean it couldn't become one. So we have to talk tornado safety rules. Just if you live in Lamar County, let's get there. 
and let's stay there for at least the next 20, 30 minutes. And we'll give you another cut in. We'll try to get during the commercial breaks if possible. Sturdy structure, lowest floor in the middle. Turn up volume on the TV, wrap up in blankets, pillows, and stay there until we can give you the all clear. Meteorologist Matt Lawpon for meteorologist Joel Young. And we'll continue monitoring things. Keep it here for the best coverage.